I tested the three biggest AI models side by side, and the result shocked me. Which AI is actually the best, ChatGPT, Claude, or Gemini? I decided to find out by testing them head to head. I tested them on real tasks, writing scripts, solving logic problems, even deep research, and honestly, the results surprised me. No hype, no bias, just a straight up comparison to see which one you should actually be using for your work. Let's get into it. And before we start throwing prompts around, let's get to know these three AIs we're testing today, because each one has its own personality, strengths, and quirks, kind of like the Avengers, if they were all giant nerds. First up, we've got the classic, Chat GPT by OpenAI. This one's basically the all-rounder of the AI world. You can throw pretty much anything at it, writing, coding, reasoning, explaining complex stuff, and it'll usually nail it. What makes ChatGPT stand out is how good it is at step-by-step -step logic. It's the best when you need structure, like writing a script, creating outlines, or explaining code line by line. And tone control? Super clean. You can tell it to sound formal, funny, or cinematic, and it adjusts almost instantly. So yeah, ChatGPT is the logical brain of the group. It's the go-to if you want clear, well-structured, professional results without too much tweaking. Next up, Claude from Anthropic. If ChatGPT is the brainy one, Claude's the one with emotional intelligence. It's calm, thoughtful, and seriously good at understanding context. Claude is incredible when you feed it long documents or big chunks of text. It just gets it. It knows how to summarize without losing meaning and how to write like a real person, warm, natural, and human. Honestly, Claude feels like that friend who listens to you talk for an hour, then gives you the perfect two-sentence summary that makes your whole life make sense. So if you're writing blog posts, storytelling scripts, or anything that needs emotional flow, Claude might actually edge out ChatGPT in sounding human. And finally, Gemini. Google's big brain. This one's the research powerhouse. It's built to handle massive context, like I'm talking entire books or long code bases, and it's deeply integrated with Google's ecosystem. The insane part? It's memory, called the context window. Gemini can remember up to 1 million tokens in a single conversation. That's basically like it can read and keep track of the entire Lord of the Rings trilogy with room to spare. So, if you're doing deep research, analyzing large documents, or juggling multiple topics at once, Gemini's your guy. It's also awesome at pulling in real-time info from the web and connecting with Google Docs or Drive. The only trade-off? It's not quite as funny or creative as the others. Think of it like the quiet genius in the back who knows everything but doesn't really do punchlines. So to sum it up, ChatGPT is the structured brain, Claude is the empathetic writer, and Gemini is the data genius. Three totally different vibes, but only one can win today's challenge. All right, to test these three, I gave all three AIs the exact same four prompts. Each one is something you'd actually use AI for in real life. Task one is writing a YouTube intro script. I told them to write a 30-second YouTube intro for a video titled How AI is Replacing 9 to 5 Jobs, Make It Engaging and Human Sounding. The task is all about creativity and hook writing. We'll see which AI actually sounds like it understands YouTube audiences. Task number two is summarizing an article. I pasted a long article, about 1,500 words. The goal? Summarize it in plain English for a 10-year-old because if an AI can't explain it simply, it doesn't really understand it. Task three is explaining code. I gave them a small Python snippet that reverses a string using slicing. Nothing crazy, just these two lines. And then I asked, explain this like I am new to programming. This one tests reasoning and how well they teach, not just regurgitate. Task number four is planning a business idea. I said, create a simple AI-based business plan for a startup that helps small YouTubers automate their video editing. That way, we can see which AI combines creativity, strategy, and real-world thinking. So, writing, summarizing, explaining, and planning. 
These four cover pretty much everything people actually use AI for every day. And to keep it fair, I'll rate them on four things. Speed, accuracy, creativity, and style. Basically, who's the fastest? Who's the smartest? Who's the most original? And who actually sounds like a real person? All right, time to find out which AI is the real MVP. Let's start with round writing. The prompt I gave them was super simple. Write a one minute YouTube intro about how AI will change creativity. That's it, same words, same format. Let's see how they handled it. Chat GPT came in fast, like almost instantly and gave me a super structured, clean and energetic script. It said, in the next few years, AI won't just help us create, it'll collaborate with us. From writing songs to editing videos, it's not replacing artists. It's making creativity faster, smarter, and more human than ever. This sounded exactly like something a professional YouTuber would say. It had pacing, structure, a clear call to action, like it just knows how to talk to an audience. So ChatGPT definitely wins for clarity and rhythm. It's polished, confident, but maybe a little too perfect. You can almost sense the algorithm. Now let's see this in Claude, and man, this one surprised me. It came back with something that felt so human. Like it wasn't just a script, it had emotion, reflection, even a little bit of soul. Here's what it said. Creativity used to mean staring at a blank page. Now, it's about conversation between you and the AI helping you dream bigger. The tools are changing, but the spark, that's still all you. Tell me that doesn't sound like an emotional TED Talk. Claude's tone feels warm, like it understands people, not just prompts. If ChatGPT is the perfect student, Claude's like the poet who actually gets feelings. And next, let's go to Gemini, Google's model. Now, this one went Full professor mode. I mean, it's not wrong, but it's definitely giving PowerPoint presentation energy. It is accurate, full of facts, but it just didn't have that spark. If I used it in a YouTube video, half the audience would have clicked away before the punchline. So here's the breakdown after the first test. Chat GPT was the cleanest overall. Claude wins for human touch and heart. And Gemini, super smart, but a little too robotic for storytelling. So yeah, if I ever need an emotional monologue, I'm calling Claude. If I need a killer YouTube intro, ChatGPT's my guy. All right, next up, the summarizing test. I wanted to see which AI can take a long, complicated article and turn it into something short, clear, and actually useful. Honestly, no one has time to read 2,000 words about anything anymore, so the prompt is simple. You can take any article, paste it into these AIs, and use some simple prompt. Summarize this 2,000-word article in three bullet points. That's it. Short, direct, and easy to measure. Claude came in strong here. Super balanced, emotionally aware, and still factual. Now, that's how you summarize. It kept the data, but still felt human. It didn't sound robotic. It sounded like a journalist. I swear, Claude writes like it's applying for a Pulitzer Prize. Next is ChatGPT, and honestly, this one's what you want when you're taking quick notes. Short, clean, easy to understand, like a mini executive summary. It doesn't go super deep emotionally, but it's perfect if you just want to get the gist fast. So, yeah, ChatGPT's the straight-A student who finishes the exam early. Not dramatic, but super efficient. Next, let's check the same with Gemini, the overachiever of the group. Instead of three bullet points, Gemini basically wrote me a mini research paper. Okay, wow. That's accurate, detailed, and very Google of it. Like, if you need sources for a school report, Gemini is your best friend. But if you're trying to read this during lunch, yeah, good luck finishing it before dessert. So here's the scorecard for the summarizing test. Claude nailed the tone. It summarized like a journalist. ChatGPT kept it clean and quick, perfect for notes. And Gemini pulled every fact out of the article, which is impressive, but maybe a little overkill. So if you're a student or a researcher, Gemini's your guy. If you want something fast and readable, ChatGPT. And if you want it to sound like The Guardian wrote it, go with Claude. Next, we have to see how these AIs handle something a little more technical. 
I gave them this simple Python function and said, explain what this code does to a beginner. This function takes a word or sentence and flips it backward, super basic, but perfect to test how each AI explains concepts to someone brand new to coding. ChatGPT broke it down step by step, short, clean, and beginner friendly. Simple, straight to the point, no jargon, no drama. It even explained that weird double colon and one thing clearly, which is something beginners always trip over. This felt like having a patient teacher right next to you. So if you're learning to code or just Googling errors at 2 a.m., chat GPT is still your best bet. Claude's results? Claude's version is interesting. It went a little deeper, kind of like a teacher who really wants you to get it. See what I mean? It's not wrong. It's actually really clear. But it does over-explain a bit, like that one teacher who writes a paragraph for every bullet point. So if you like story-style explanations, Claude's perfect. It talks to you like a friendly textbook that actually cares. And then Gemini came in like a computer science professor. Okay, accurate? Absolutely. Beginner-friendly? Not so much. It's like Gemini assumes you already have a degree in data science. Still, if you already understand programming, Gemini's explanations are gold. It nails the technical details, but it's not really hand-holding anyone through the process. So here's the scorecard for our coding test. Chat GPT was the best overall, clear and approachable. Claude was super thorough, but a bit wordy. And Gemini, great for engineers, maybe not beginners. So, yeah, if you're new to Python, ChatGPT's your coding buddy, Claude's your tutor, and Gemini's your college professor who grades in red ink. Okay, for the final round, I wanted to see how these AIs handle something real-world. Not theory, not trivia, actual business thinking. So I asked all three the same prompt. Help me plan a business that sells digital AI templates. Pretty simple, but it tests creativity and strategy. ChatGPT's results? ChatGPT what ChatGPT does best. Structure. It broke everything down into clean, easy sections. Target audience, product plan, marketing, as well as pricing. It was like having a startup consultant who knows how to make PowerPoints. Everything was practical. Clear next steps. No fluff. If you need a roadmap to start today, ChatGPT nails it. Now, to Claude's result. Claude, on the other hand, turned the same idea into a story. See what I mean? It didn't just plan a business, it pitched it. Claude made it sound like a mission statement, not a spreadsheet. If ChatGPT's the project manager, Claude's the one inspiring the team on launch day. And then Gemini came in with a large market report. It analyzed search trends, SEO keywords, competitors, pricing averages, and even added projections for market growth. Like, this thing literally built me an investor deck. All I asked for was a plan. Gemini gave me market research and a five-year forecast. So if you're data-driven, Gemini wins hands down. It's like working with a business analyst who never sleeps. So yeah, ChatGPT gave me a business plan. Claude made it sound inspirational. And Gemini gave me something I could probably pitch to investors tomorrow. Three totally different brains and all somehow useful in their own way. So who wins? Honestly, it depends on you. If you're a creator, go with ChatGPT. If you're a writer or storyteller, Claude will feel like your creative twin. And if you're into data, research, or big projects, Gemini's your powerhouse. So yeah, there's no best AI. There's just the one that fits how you think. And again, AI isn't one size fits all. It's more like having three genius friends. One's logical, one's poetic, and one's a total nerd for data. And honestly, that's kind of the fun part. You can mix and match depending on what you need. If you want me to test which AI makes the best YouTube thumbnail or maybe which one writes the best pickup lines, hit that like button and drop it in the comments. I'll let the robots embarrass me again next week.